Hello, time for another video, and I will have a, I will break from this break box, and the nine is dragged on this spot. So I need to make a cut break. Need to make a cut break. Oh, when I scratched, I scratched in the corner. Let's see what I can do here. Here the four ball is uh, really bothering me. I don't like where the four is. I want to remove it quickly. I could of course make the five in the side. Yeah, I'm going to make the five in the side. It, you, you, I can travel short from the three to the four. Make the four in the side and then the five is over there. So I'm going to do that. Just make the two in the side pocket and then just travel short from the three to the four. I'm using just pure left spin here, pure left spin. Just roll in the balls, let's make it easy. Here I'm using a little bit of right spin to uh, get a little bit of a backwards uh, angle with the cue ball. If I had used center ball, the cue ball would have gone uh, further forwards after the contact and I would have a, had a bad shot on the five. But if you use outside spin, it will act like a draw shot. It will go, keeper will go backwards a little bit if you have an angle on the on the ob object ball. But that's a good trick you can do to change the angle without using a draw shot. Because when using a draw shot, it becomes much tougher to control. So much easier to control with outside spin and shoot soft. Use a slow roll shot with outside spin. Okay, now I, I want to, here's a tricky position because uh, normally people go two rails for the six. If they come too short, they want to stop here on the six, but if they stop too short, they will, they will need to make the six in the side, but the eight is in the way of position play. You can't have good position play. And also the nine is in the way of position play if you go, want to go two rails for the seven. That's a bad shot selection to attempt to make the six in the side because you might come too short. So instead I want to go play with the cue ball, two rails, stop several on this side of the six. You have many more options of position play for the seven if that happens. But if you stop here on the six, you, need, you are going to run into the eight or the nine if you attempt position play for the seven and then you lose the game. You much rather want to be on this side of the six. So that is what I'm planning to do. There's also another alternative to intentionally run into the seven, push the seven in front of the side, then the problem is solved. Okay, so actually I'm going to just go with the cue ball this, this path. Either I miss the seven or I push the seven closer to the side to make it easier. So the odds are bigger if I just go for both alternatives here. Either play position here with the cue ball or hit the seven with the cue ball, push it closer to the side. Okay, so I, I will do that. Two rails with the cue ball, go close to the seven. Now, now I miss the seven. Yeah, because I attempted to stop here with the cue ball, I didn't come too short on the six. And now I can just barely just draw back the cue ball, have perfect position on the seven. But if I had attempted, if I had attempted to stop here in front of the six, uh, and because I shot that too soft, I came too short, I would have ended up over here. I would have had a bad shot on the six. But now because I attempted to come to this side of the six and I shot, I came too short. I still had a good shot on the six. Even when I played it very badly, I still had a great shot on the six. So that's what you want to do. You want to maximize your chance of winning by just admit to yourself that you can't really play perfect every time. You need to accept that you need to find out how to play when you play your worst game. That even if you mess up really badly, you can still run the table. And that's exactly, exactly what happened to me. I played it really badly. I want to stop here. I start way too early. I could still make the six. And I, it is not a problem anymore. Here I'm on the seven. 
here's a problem that the, the 9 is in the way for position play because normally you go one rail, two rails up here for the 8 but you might get snooker behind the 9 so it, it can be quite dangerous it can be really dangerous here uh, you, many players also come, want to come short many, want, many players want to come short here to make the cut shot on the 8 but they end up coming, uh, yeah, they end up getting snooked behind the 9 so that's, that's something you also don't want to do what you want to do here is you want to go far with the cue ball over here you want to stop, you can stop somewhere here if you stop here on the 8, you can still make the 8 if you stop short here, you can still cut the 8 because if the cue ball is close to the 8, it is much easier to make it but if the cue ball is over here, very tough to make the 8 in the cut shot so I'm, I'm also, when I want to come far when I want to go far with the cue ball it will avoid getting snooked behind the 9 because it will have enough speed to pass the 9 and be out in the open here to easily make the 8 so I want to shoot this shot with uh, enough speed and also because the balls are clean you can afford to shoot hard into the corner without it rattling in the jaws of the pocket you can only do that if the balls are super clean like now so that's what I'm going to do so that's the best choice to make I want to go far with the cue ball out there in the open because then I can easily make the 8 without worrying about getting snooked behind the 9 okay so here I use low right spin low right spin like that, I had a lot of speed and came here out into an open area with no danger of getting snooked behind the 9 so this was a great shot and now now I need to, yeah, I have a cut shot on the 8 here many players that shoot soft here, that's the wrong way to do it they shoot soft, try to stop the cue ball here maybe the 8 won't even reach the corner because they shoot too soft so you don't want to do that, you want to rather be certain that you make it uh, you want to go around the table with the cue ball you can either go 1, 2, 3 rails with the cue ball or you can go 1 two, three, four rails with the cue ball it just depends on how dirty the balls are and here with clean balls you want to go this way because when the cue ball hits the rail it will go wide with a clean cue ball but if the cue ball is dirty it will, it will come narrow out of the rail so you, you want to choose this path with the cue ball if the balls are dirty go four rails here if the ball is dirty but if the cue ball is clean you want to go wide one, two, three rails around the table so that's what I'm going to do I'll use the right spin here right spin and go around the table oh I missed the shot but you see here that I didn't get grip on the cushions when because the balls are so the cue ball is so clean so you can you can go wide with the cue ball let me do it again let me do this shot again I will hit thinner this time like that that's a perfect shot right there and I came into the angle for the nine and the final shot never chalk the cue on the nine ball here uh, yeah I'm going to shoot, uh, he, many players think that this is a 100% shot, it is not a 100% shot so you want to plan ahead what happens if you miss a shot? what happens if you miss? you hit it too, too thick nine ball will hit the rail there, there come out here so, and the cue ball is going to come out here okay? you miss the shot, opponent will get the nine here, cue ball here that is what you want to avoid so you want to shoot this shot softer if you miss a shot, 9 ball will hit the rail there stop somewhere here, cue ball will stop somewhere here opponent doesn't have anything if you miss a shot so I'm going to use the correct speed to enable that possibility stop the cue ball somewhere close here to the rail ok I use a little bit of uh, left speed just a hair of low on the cue ball there you go with the left spin the cue ball uh, goes more closer to this rail okay what happens if I had missed the shot 
Nabal would have gone here, up here, cue ball, yeah, somewhere over here, opponent doesn't have anything. But if I had shot that harder, Nabal would have hit the red there, cue ball would have had more speed on it. Opponent would have got a shot like this in the side if you had missed. So ne never be 100% certain that you are going to make the shot because if you don't make it, the opponent is going to make it very easily. So I'm going to uh, uh, miss this shot on purpose now, to, just to show you what happens. I will miss it on purpose, the correct way. This is the correct way to miss the, miss the nine. You see, opponent can't make the nine anywhere, because you use the correct speed on the nine ball. Opponent can't make the nine. And here I'm going to shoot it the wrong way. I'm going to shoot this shot the wrong way with uh, more speed on the cue ball and miss the shot. Okay, you see? Nine ball is out in the open. You see? Almost a perfect example here. Easy to make the nine in the side. So that is, that is something you want to avoid when you are on the final nine ball. Imagine, imagine what happens if you miss the nine and try to prevent the opponent getting an easy shot like this. So shoot with the correct speed and imagine what happens if you miss the shot, okay? So this is the end of the video. I will see you next time. Goodbye. There's nothing else in life than pool. Play pool.